Hey, what's going on? This is Mando Crusader, and welcome to episode 6 of our Rogue Servitor campaign in Stellaris. Um, last episode, uh, I promised war. War against the Jubaran Empire. Um, also we expanded a little bit here, but that's not important. That's boring. Who cares about that? War! War is much more fun. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Today, we are going to be doing some last preparations, and then we're going to be going to war, because last episode, we became equivalent to the Jubaran Empire in terms of fleet power, um, with our brand new fleet, which includes destroyers now, so that's really cool, um... So yeah, basically, well, I already said it. I don't know why I'm going to say it again, but we're going to do a couple of last preparations, and then this episode is dedicated to war. We're going to we're gonna do some fighting. Um, right, but before we get into that, I just want to say, hey, if you like my content, uh, and you like this video, like the video. It really helps uh, the channel out. Um, subscribe and ring the bell as well. That helps immensely. And comment below any games you let me to play. Uh, I do take requests for games. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's uh, let's get into the, the meat of all of this. So, what preparations do we need to do? Basically, two things. The first thing is we need an army. Um, because we currently have none. So, I am going... We need to build... I just like a nice even number of 10. We're going to build 10 um, hunter killer armies here. That's going to be our invasion force for the for their planets. And then if I could, it looks like I uh, I would like to build 10 more corvettes just as some extra security against them. And once that's all done, we can, well, we can go to war. I'm going to move this fleet down here so that the two fleets don't get mixed up. Additionally, we have two open building slots on our capital. I did not realize this. Um, unfortunately, there's not really a lot to build right now. Um, well, actually, I would like to build a research lab. But besides that... Um, there's really not a lot to build. I'm saving this building slot for the building that, um, increases generator production. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, with all that taken care of, um, I'm gonna unpause. And I'll catch you when progress is made. Anomalous surface variable detected. All right, we've got cold, hard potential. Our science officer has found an anomaly. It will require extensive prob probing, but could garner a substantial find. Uh, very, very specific with what is going on here. Uh, well, I guess we'll research it and find out. Strength from small places. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the moon Burrs 8A, we think we have struck something big. Science Officer Unit 03 speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to form large blankets that are durable, yet light, and also acts like solar cells. They absorb solar energy with a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage, mostly a result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Our researchers back home can try to find some use for this information. Oh. Alright, we can try to improve energy production or find a military use. Um, we currently need energy production, so I think I'm going to send it there. Uh, 
Our energy development researchers have made progress with the samples we sent them from Burst 8A. They have been able to develop a new type of solar cell using the organisms as a template. These are much more efficient at storing energy and provide a boost to all our power plants. Marvelous! So, does that reduce some of the energy deficit? Um, okay, by five. Alright. So, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, tradition time. Alright. Um, I think... Let's see. I think we should go prosperity. I really think we should go prosperity. So by getting that, our mining station output is increased by 20%. Which is really, really nice. Um, especially because of all of the energy that we're using, we really need to um, build more generator units and areas. Technological acquisition successful. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, FTL inhibitors. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Um, all right, there we go. This is what I was talking about right here. All those shields would be good for the military. This, um, uh, I think, would be much more important. Um, global energy management. That the energy grid is the building I'm saving that building slot for. Anomalous surface variable detected. All right. Unusual energy readings. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this moon. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. All right, then. Magnetic reversal. The magnetic field of Bristler 2A has experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Voyager. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the moon's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensors of our ship, providing our scientists with a lot of valuable data. More physics research. Very good. That should be very helpful. Anomalous surface variable detected. Alright, another anomaly. A small rectangular object on the surface of this planet is deflecting all scanning beams like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine its material composition. Alright. Um, we are almost ready for war. Our... Invasion force is built, and I decided to add a couple of destroyers to this new fleet as well. Um, the second one and last one is almost built, and after that's done, we're going to send it off to Targon, and there it is. And once it gets there, we're ready to declare war. Alien Mural, while conducting surface scans of Tiffum 4, Science Officer Unit 03, and the crew of the ISS Examiner discover what appears to be a an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Situation log adjusted. Alright. Oh, well, after they're finished with this. After, after they're finished um, with this system, I guess I'll have them do that special project.
Anomalous surface variable detected. Another anomaly. System surface. Hold on just complete. one second here. All right. Weapon trails. Faint traces of we weapon radiation indicative of a military spacecraft have been detected at Fangkor. All right, then. Alien spacecraft. A badly damaged military vessel bearing elaborate alien insignia circles Fangkor. The ship has suffered a heavy incendiary attack, which has melted its hull, leaving no survivors aboard. No weapons known to us today can produce temperatures high enough to cause such an effect. Perhaps the ship's logs may shed some light on its violent end. Situation we will examine log the logs after we're done surveying the planet. Just building another destroyer. Um, and we're almost, it's almost time. All right, are we all in position? All right, so here's what we're going to do before we declare. We're going to send both of our fleets right to the jump point. System survey complete. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, there's the rail guns. I really should upgrade with those. All right. <laughs> Time to hold off the war for just one more second. Research that project in the meantime. Just one more second. This will give us a big advantage, though. Special project complete. Special project completed. Science Officer Unit 03 has managed to partially translate the Ilium mural discovered on Tiffum 4. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collective technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads of technologies we have yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Interesting. Get some more of that research. And off to survey over there. Ship augmentations completed. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to be worth it. Special project complete. The Rubricator. An analysis of the ship's logs reveals the crew met its demise in trying to retrieve an irreplaceable alien artifact called the Rubricator. It was stolen from their society by a pack of thieving rats. A curious choice of words, as they themselves are most rat-like in appearance. The logs are mainly compromised of curses willing the rat robbers to end the universe and beyond. The crew has counted upwards of 50 individual words for defecation, as well as a wide selection of places from which a star's light cannot escape, but their arduous work has paid off. We have uncovered the last known location of the Rubricator in a previously uncharted system, and if we are able to be believe its former owners of its powers are worth pursuing. We must have the Rubricator. So, the Rubricator is an artifact. Situation log adjusted. Uh, Alright. Um, it's an artifact. I forget exactly what it does. <laughs> but I do complete. know that it's a very good thing to have. Ship augmentations completed. Technological acquisition successful. All right, lots of things happening here. Um, Dust Bowl. RX-2984 is home to a number of exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity in one of the larger craters. All right, and there's our energy grid. Um, I guess you just take the quick quantum theory, build the energy grid, 
and wait for this upgrade to finish. Technological acquisition successful. Another acquisition. Abandoned thrusting. So there's um there's some extra admin capacity. We definitely want more planter uh blocker removal tech. Abandoned thrusting in the center of a particularly large crater on RX2984. That's a cluster of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. Science Officer Unit 03 is convinced they are massive planetoid mountable propulsion devices intended to push RX2984 from its orbit for purposes and destinations unknown. The ISS examiner is on standby, its crew ready to begin disassembly and analysis of the alleged propulsion systems, the hopes of improving our own thruster technology. Technological acquisition oh, successful. We just get ion thrusters. Well, that's that thing we were um, uh, researching. That's pretty cool. Um, well, I guess machine template system seems pretty good. Um, also, they've um, are the Jabarans have claimed another system. Um, they're about to learn that they really shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Communications established with the Riggin Commerce Exchange. Oh, okay. It's just, uh, it's just the traders. It's just the traders. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Ship augmentations completed. All right. We are finally ready for war. We are finally ready. I cannot wait. Low stability. All right, hold on. That's not important. Our fleets are in position. One more check. We're still equivalent. Um, let's see what's wrong with Forge. Oh, we have no amenities. That's probably why. Um, let's build a Nexus District and uh, hope that helps. But, right. It's time. The episode has been building up to this. It is time for war. War, conquer, this is probably a really bad idea, but we're committed now. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. Let's go! <clears throat> Hostile stationary asset engaged. We're just, we're just gonna leave that system. There we go. All right, the first victory has been declared. So now we're gonna head over to their first colony. Also, we need to manage our claims. We gotta claim that system. They have two colonies here. Construction complete. All right, this should fall very easily. Time to move our armies in. And let's check out the defenses on their planets. That should be no issue. That should be no issue. All right, we're gonna send 
this fleet over here. And the other fleet, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Send this fleet to do a little bombardment of that world. Selective bombardment. Just soften it up a little bit. send this fleet down here, and they're going to keep watch while we deal with this colony here. System survey complete. Okay, we're going to send in the armies. And hopefully we will make short work. Yes, we do. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. All right. Move on to the next one. Um, I do have one question, though. Where's their fleet? And we seem to have found it. Their fleet will get here. Our our reinforcements will get here in 23 days. All right. They are coming. We're going to land armies on Coral Keep. Move our fleets into position. Planetary pacification protocol. And this is going to be the big engagement here. One of the big engagements. We have to win this battle. I think we've got it unlocked. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a slaughter. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. There's another planet taken. Oh, it's a slaughter. We're slaughtering these mollusks. Uh, we also got quantum theory, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's get quantum energy states and move along from there. All right, I think it's time to assault their capital. I think it's just, I think it's just time to do that. There is the remains of their hostile fleet assets engaged. There's the remains of their fleet. Destroyed. We managed to kill any of their ships. We did manage to kill four of them. Now we need to kill their station. And they're, they're, they are, are they actually trying to claim our systems as we are destroying all hope of existence for them? That is bold. I'll give them that. Oh. Uh, I found their main fleet. Okay, so that was just the that was just the tiny fleet. That was just the tiny fleet that we um engaged. This is their main fleet. And I think we should sally forth and meet them. Um actually, should we?
Maybe, maybe not. Hold on. Um, let's keep bombarding Jub. We need to take this world. Um, and then we can repair our fleets here, and then we can go out, and then we can take them on. System survey complete. Because I think we have plenty of fleet power to deal with them. We have over a thousand fleet power more. An abandoned gateway? Oh, an L gate! Oh, we're gonna want that. We have located what we believe could be an ancient subspace gateway near Demon's Maw. It appears to have been part of a gala galaxy-wide network of similar stations, which, when operational, allowed for near-instantaneous travel from one part of the galaxy to another. At some point after its initial construction, its connection to the rest of the network was severed. It now offers only one valid destination, an uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that our astronomers had designated the L Cluster. Even more intriguing, the gateway was built entirely by microscopic nanites of an unknown design. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it has been deliberately locked into some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Until we find some way of aborting this process, the L cluster will remain beyond our reach. Um, so we do not want to up we, we don't want to access this now. Uh, potentially there's something very, very bad on the other side of that gateway. Um, so we're going to just wait a second. We're going to hold off on that and wait till we have more power. Um, also, we have a tradition available. Uh, we definitely want this. We want our upkeep to be reduced. Definitely. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Um, also, we've discovered dark matter. Which is really excellent. But that's not important right System now. What's important complete. is we are taking our enemy's capital. This is what's important. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Excellent. All right. So we are going to system survey repair complete. our fleet, and then we're going to sally out and meet our enemy's fleet. And that. When this should be should be repaired relatively soon. There we go. All right, let's go out and meet them. Fifteen, twenty-eight Corvettes. Um, the Free Inari Alliance has rivaled us again. That doesn't matter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, seeing this performance, I wouldn't rival us if I were you. I mean, it's your life, I can't tell you what to do, but, eh, I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I definitely wouldn't. <clears throat> but, still. Alright, here we go. 15k in fleet power, with an extra 150 to back them up, versus our 2400. We're going to ride out and meet them. Construction complete. And the AI is smart, leading us back to um their station. But I think Yep, that's it. We won. We win. I can't wait to see the uh, results on here, because we, we only lost two Corvettes, it looks like. System survey complete. Let's see the fleet report. 
Um, we lost four Corvettes and a Destroyer. And they lost ten Corvettes. Yeah, that seems, uh... Seems like a decent trade. And they are now officially inferior from their fleet power. Um... Let's see. I think we should definitely reinforce that fleet. Take Coral Keep. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Victory! We have won the war. Your victory is, an o is only yet another test of our faith. In the end, the true believers will prevail. The best possible outcome. All right. So, we have won our first war. Um, I wish you could have taken a little bit more. But, um... Yeah. Still, this is still great. Um, we get Tina Vec, which is a really good system. And we also get two new colonies. Looks like we've got six pops here. And seven here. All right, a Gaia world. Oh, that's nice. All right. Well, I think that's a really good place to leave it off. Um, so, yeah, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Um, what an episode. We won our first war. So cool. I think uh, next episode we need to decide what we're going to do with all of these... Um, people that we have to preserve now um what are we going to do with these new worlds and just consolidate our holdings regroup rebuild and keep expanding so thank you all so much for watching remember if you like this episode leave it a like it really helps the channel out subscribe ring the bell and comment any other games that we to play i take requests and all of it really helps out the channel uh thank you so much and uh for watching and uh, yeah, have a good one.